What is up? What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. If you're a fitness person, you more than likely use the Strava app. And if you are a cyclist, you know that if it's not on Strava, it probably didn't happen. <laughs> so Strava rolled out this update and in this update, they are putting out this information called power skills, right? Uh, there are a lot of people talking about these power skills, but what I'm going to do is actually show you on the app and kind of show you how you can look deeper into the data that it provides. And it is super, super interesting. If you are returning here, very much appreciate it and welcome back. And if you are new here, my name is Mr. Rob Armstrong. I am a recreational cyclist. I don't have no crazy FTP. I don't do no racing. I'm just a guy that really, really like bikes, right? So what we're going to do is jump in the app and show you what is going on with this information that it is being provided to you. All right, so right off the bat, right, when you go into the app, you go to Strava. When you get to Strava, um, if you look at the bottom right, you got the U. You click U, and then inside U, you scroll down just a little bit. This is what I'm talking about, the new Power Skills feature. And it's got all this data uh, from your cycling skills, kind of using the power meter, kind of give you some information right so right off when i am looking at this i'm like man this is super super interesting and it talks about things that uh you are good at uh some things you're probably moderate at and some things that you need to work on so when i'm looking at this data right off my strongest area is in the sprint and that's what i kind of figured from the way i've been riding and kind of what i know about myself around the attack area probably very moderate and my worst feature of all is climbing, which is definitely no surprise to me because I freaking hate climbing and I do not do it well, right? So like I said, looking deeper into the data, I see this thing that says effort, 15 seconds, power, 1200 watts. So this is telling me that on a good day on a sprint, man, I could pretty much hold 1200 watts for about 15 seconds. I was like, dang, that's, I think that's pretty respectable, right? But what does that really mean and like how is it quantified, justified, or how did they come up with this 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 number, right? So if you click view all power skills, now it goes deeper into some of this data, right? Now you got this wheel at the top and it's just like a wheel of power kind of going from uh let's say the twelve o'clock position which is 1200 watts. Then you got like the three, the three o'clock position, which is 443 watts. You got the six o'clock position, which is the 254. And then if you're looking at the nine o'clock position, it's like 220 watts, right? And like I said, for me, my strongest skill is the sprint area. So I'm pretty much looking at that 12 to three o'clock and you can see it's highlighted in blue. For 15 seconds, I'm around like the 1200 watts, 30 seconds around 823 watts. And then for a minute, I can pretty much hold about 597, right? Looking deeper into it, if I scroll down a little bit, we're at the area that says Sprint. Strava ranks me at the semi-pro level 6 in sprinting. And like I said, that, that briefs well, but what does that really mean? So we're going to look deeper into it. There's a little arrow um, that points over. Click the arrow. Now we're going deeper into it, right? Now, um, when we're looking at the data, like I said, these are the numbers that we were already talking about, the 15 seconds, the 30 seconds, and the one minute, right? I'm very much interested in this 15 second, 1200 watts, and kind of figuring out how do they come up with this semi-pro level six. So if you click that arrow, it gives you more information, right? So now telling me my 15 second power, and I'm reading the verbiage that's at the top, this is my ranking from men that's in my age group, the 40 to 44, and my weight, 168, right? The higher the level, the stronger you are in that specific skill. So they got me ranked as number eight, world class. So according to Strava and the data that's being provided in my age group and my weight, I'm in the top 98%. And I was like, wow, that's pretty interesting. And if you just look down the chart, you know, you got your seven, national star you got your six semi pro you get the five elite and it kind of goes down so on and so forth and it kind of gives you a breakdown from percentage and the power from the watch that you've been producing that is super super dope right but like i said i want to know more about this and if you look 
if you look at the number eight world class 98 percent there is a um another tab that you can click that gives you more information so i click that and now this is really cool this takes you to the specific ride where it calculated that effort and i was like dang this is dope so when i'm looking at this i'm like when did this occur right this was april 23rd 2024 and for me you know i take a lot of pictures and stuff so there's some more information on here when i click on this i see that this day i was riding my trek madone and i was like okay that makes sense because me personally when it comes to raw power, efficiency, uh, laying down a good sprint, and I'm talking about for me, the Trek Madone is my bike. I am in tune with that bike. I do very, very well with that bike. If I had to bet against myself in a sprint, whether I was on like my, my Tarmac, my Factor, my S5, the Madone, me and the Madone, we're going to kick some ass, right? <laughs> so I thought that was cool. That it, that it has all that information so you can see. So I was like, dang, right? So then we backed out of that. And now let's look at this attack. Attack has got me at the sport level four. Like I said, let's dig deeper into it. Click the over button, slide down, and it gives you your efforts. Two minutes, 443 watts. Three minutes, 358. Five minutes, 310. 10 minutes, 1054. Hmm, okay. Interesting. I want to know more information about this two minute effort at the 443 watts. So I clicked the over arrow. Did it go over? Okay, I didn't click it. What's going on with this? Okay, there we go. Now it's telling me that for that for that effort, where it ranks me. It's ranking me at the semi pro. I'm at the top 85%. And like I said, this is the ranking for my age group and my weight. Like I said, I think that's dope that, it's, that it presents the information like that. I want to know more about it. Click over, right? It goes back and it tells me the specific ride, like when it's calculating this. And I'm looking at this and I'm like, oh, dang, this is super. This is from August 2021. This was back when I was in Korea. <laughs> and like I said, I'm a picture guy. So I'm like, what bike was I riding? I'm riding my old school. This is my Trek um, Imanda. I'm talking about the 300 series carbon rim brake. I absolutely love this. I still own this bike, matter of fact, but I I kicked a lot of ass when I was in Korea on this bike. But anyway, I just thought that that was dope that it gives you all of this information. So back out again. Now let's look into my worst area, which is climbing. Oh my goodness, right? It's telling me that I'm just like... <laughs> athletic level three once again what does that really mean so let's dive into it click the arrow drop down climbing efforts right 15 minutes 230 watts 20 minutes 233 30 minutes 220 45 212 60 uh 205 once again i'm interested in the first one this 15 minute effort at 235 watts let's let's look at that right so when you go in here, it's got me at a level three athletic. <laughs> I'm at the bottom 46% in my power, my results. And once again, this is all information based off of your own categories. Mine is the 40 to 44 uh, at the 168 pound um, weight. And let's look a little deeper into this. You click the over. And once again, this is from August 2021. Your boy was out in Korea. And apparently, I had zero energy and zero sleep <laughs> on this ride. But, and I look, scroll down a little bit more. I was on my roadie, which is that same bike that um, 2016 uh, Trek Amanda rim brake. But, yeah, bro, this is, this is like, this is some good information. Yo, I am, I am an IT guy by trade. So, random gadgetry and just, just ridiculous amounts of information and data that I'll probably never use. I find this stuff just very interesting. I think it's so dope that you can see this, right? And it's, it's nothing you have to do. If you are riding your bike and you have a power meter, these power skills are on Strava and they're available to you. I would just tell you, man, go out here and just check it out, man. Check it out and see what it's telling you. And it's nice to know the things that you were good at the things that you are moderately good at and probably some of the areas that you need to work on. Now, I will say this though, right? If you found this video helpful, 
or you know somebody that might benefit from this video, make sure you send it to them so they can see it, man. And if you are liking the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. This is your boy, Mr. Rob Armstrong. Now.